Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Andrew and this is Rogers Finance. And today I'm gonna to talk about the Panera $8.99 offer for a month of unlimited coffee. Stay tuned. And a lot of you might be wondering now, what's the catch on this? What can I do? What can I do? You know, what are the limitations to this? And I'm gonna break that all down for you. So you might be wondering, what can I get? What can I get? What's excluded from this offer? So first of all, what can you get? You can get drip coffee, iced coffee, and hot tea with this offer. That's gonna be any size, it doesn't have to be a small. Burger King did come up with an offer like this similarly, I believe last year or two years ago, it was $5, um, but you can only get one coffee a day and it had to be a small drip coffee. I don't think that's that great of a deal. This though, any size, three different choices, and not only that, you can get one every two hours plus free refills. So really, if you're gonna be sitting in Panera every day, like if it's something like you're a writer or you own your business and you work out of Panera, this can really amount to be a great deal. Um, one of the things that you can't do, you can't get iced coffee with, or you can't get iced coffee rather, you can't get iced tea, I meant to say. Uh, you can't get cold brew, espresso drinks. Um, any other beverages like that are not gonna be included in your subscription. Um, obviously you can also get food there, but that's not included as well. So it is just going to be those basic three things, but considerably to other subscription programs, that's a pretty good deal, especially if you enjoy Panera's coffee or you're there on a consistent basis. So I did the math on this. I was thinking I do drink iced coffee occasionally. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but sometimes I do like to drink coffee. Um, it has to be iced, though, for me. I do drink cold brew just because I make it at home. Um, iced coffee, though, I do like iced coffee. I was thinking $8.99 averaged out over a 30-day period. It works out to about $0.30 cents in that month. So it's not terrible. You can typically make a cup of coffee for yourself um, somewhere in the price range of $0.20 to $0.40, cents, depending on how fancy you want to get. Um, and that is determining that, you know, you get a standard size, you know, filling your cup of coffee. At Panera, however, you can literally get a large for that price. So honestly, if you're going to be getting coffee every day of the week and every day of the month, this is going to be a great deal for you. Not only will you not have to make it, um, you won't have to worry about buying coffee, et cetera, et cetera. You just have to pull up, order the coffee, and it's covered as part of your membership. So Honestly, if you're getting coffee every day, this seems like a home run, uh, so long as it's going on and they don't change the terms, I would say definitely go with it. So you've decided to get the subscription, you go to Panera, how do you redeem this? So same thing as my McDonald's video, you're gonna want the app. Um, I think you might be able to look it up via your phone number, but having it on, on the app just in case is probably just gonna be easier in case you actually wanna go to a cashier just so they can scan it. Um, but of course, you can look it up by phone number, I suppose. Um, all you're going to do is go up to the kiosk, enter your phone number, or log into your Panera account, access it that way, go up to a cashier. The easiest way to do it, if you want to avoid the interaction of just getting your free coffee, or not free, but you know what I mean, you're part of your subscription coffee and not being pressured into getting you know, your biscuit or bagel or whatever it is that you get there, um, you can just do the rapid rewards pickup, which is something I really like. Um, if you've been to Panera before, it's basically that shelf. Uh, it's usually somewhat near the front door. They put your name on it. They leave it on the shelf. You pick the time when you want to pick it up. What's great about this as well is you can literally schedule it days out in advance. So you can plan out your week's coffee if you'd like. Um, that's totally an option. You can't give it to other friends. I'm not sure how they really would stop that, seeing as someone could just come in and take it. Um, but I guess that's technically not allowed. So if somehow they were to catch you doing that, Obviously, I'm assuming at least your subscription would be terminated. So will I be trying it out? I think it's a good possibility I might try it out at least for one month. If you're getting coffee at least two to three times a month from places like Starbucks, Tim Hortons, Dunkin' Donuts, Panera, this is really going to be a great offer for you. For $8.99, that's about the price that you're going to get for three to four coffees, just regular iced coffees. Um, so you really can't go wrong in this, at least giving it a shot. Um, I guess if you don't enjoy Panera coffee, this would be a no-go for you. But in its current form, I think Panera coffee is pretty decent. And for $8.99, if you just average it out and then you at least get your four in in a month, you at least come out even if that's a habit you're usually into. Like I said, I usually do make iced coffee at home. I make a cold brew. 
Um, so I have this little device here. You just put the, the coffee grounds in there, add water, and it brews itself sort of overnight. That's how cold brew works. And I obviously have International Delight Cold Stone Creamery ice cream creamer because I'm very unhealthy. <laughs> but uh, if you are just making coffee at home and you're fine with that, I would just stick with that. Um, like I said, I don't drink it every day, so it's hard for me to justify the cost of a subscription. However, I do want to try it. It is just kind of an interesting offer. Um, another concern might be the lines. I was thinking of that. If everyone does sign up for this, all of a sudden there could be a big rush on the store. I don't know how popular the subscription itself will be or how big of a rush there will be into Panera, but that's something to consider. Um, overall though, I think it's worth giving a shot. You know, give it a shot. Tell me what you think in the comments if you do decide to go with it or if you have any questions on it, I'd be happy to answer. I'm gonna include in the uh, description as well, their little facts section so you can check if you have any questions on your own that you wanna ask. Um, they're usually answered on the Panera page. But uh, tell me if you're going to give it a shot. Excuse me. <laughs> I think I am. Uh, otherwise, though, I do appreciate you guys watching. Hope you're having a good rest of your Wednesday. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.